our planet is overloaded. Resources are not endless and we have boundary layers. As an engineer, I believe that only technology can solve our problem. Mobility is essential for any society. Individual mobility based on automobiles is only acceptable for society if there is no harm to the environment. Well, when you think about the future of the car industry, um, almost everybody thinks immediately about alternative drivetrains like electric mobility. We see electric mobility as at the moment, the most effective tool we have to reduce our carbon footprint because of the zero local emissions that we have during the usage phase of this product. Audi being one of the most important OEMs in Germany is definitely a leader in technology and therefore we want to be a role model for all others to follow our way to sustainability. Climate change is one of the really biggest challenges of our century. If you want to change things, you have to start with yourself. We want to send strong signals, we want to be a role model for others. We need to ensure a high credibility towards our suppliers, a high credibility towards our customers, because our customers, they want sustainable products from a sustainable production. And we have a huge impact. Last year, we could economize more than 700,000 tons of CO2 on our way to CO2 neutral production. Audi Brussels is the first CO2 neutral factory within the premium segment. Direct CO2 emissions that occur during the production process at our site are mainly neutralized by producing and purchasing green energy. We focus on our own energy production. So we have enlarged our capacity on solar modules up to 107,000 square meters this year and this results in having the biggest installation in our region. This means that we can cover up to 10% of our electricity consumption thanks to those solar modules. New technologies bring new challenges. We had to prepare our plant for the electric future to make a successful switch from a combustion engine car to Audi's first electric car or battery equipped vehicle and the high voltage battery uh, as an energy storage. We spent more than 200,000 learning hours we invested in our employees in the whole plant, uh, of which about 60,000 hours here in the battery assembly line. Well, the Audi e-tron, just by the fact that it's an electric vehicle, is making a big step toward carbon neutrality uh, because you're offering a zero emissions package at the local level. Um, but if we go a step further and provide the customer opportunities to charge this vehicle with energy coming from renewable sources, then we're making an even bigger step toward CO2 reductions. Now, uh, one good example of how we're enabling this uh, charging with renewable energy from our customers is through our new intelligent charging system. It allows you to connect it to your home energy management system so that you can charge your car using only the renewable energy coming from your solar array on your roof, as an example. This is allowing the customer to make these decisions to drive in a more environmentally responsible, greener way. Sustainability, digitalization and electrification of our cars are core for future success. Therefore, we have to speed up our internal processes to get to the right level of performance in this aspect. 
if you look at the value creation of Audi's value chain in general, more than 70% of value creation takes place in the supply chain. We interact with more than 14,000 direct suppliers and have business relations in more than 60 countries. We believe and understand in our responsibility and we want to live up to it as best as we can. So one means to increase resource efficiency is to close material loops where it makes sense or trying to increase the proportion of recycled materials in our products. And this is not only true for typical materials like steel or aluminium or plastics, it's also true for totally new programs like our water stewardship program by closing, for example, water loops um, to better increase the whole efficiency around water. More than 10 years ago, Audi decided to take responsibility and to go one step further. We founded a non-profit organization, which was an obvious signal that environmental protection plays an important role to our company. We want to give back something to this world, to the society. We are active supporter of new technologies and scientific research for a livable future. We call it Greenovation. We support that what Audi stands for, technology for a better environment. I think that Vorsprung durch Technik also in the next 50 years will create a lot of impact on sustainability by providing new technology, new ways of using uh, individual mobility and also business models. In our production sites, we have to continue our program Mission Zero. CO2 neutral production sites until 2025. But it is important for me to say there are much more challenges than only climate change and CO2. So we have also to reduce water consumption. We have to avoid the use of drinking water in our production sites. We have to reduce resources like plastic, like rare earth metals. And we want to install biodiversity projects in all our production sites. On the product side, we go electric. Carbon neutrality on balance by the year 2050 is an absolute must for society and therefore also for Audi. Uh, we have a clear pathway with the means of electrification, with certain interim steps to come to this goal in a very clear and direct way.